Hey mamas, uh, Tori here from Mommy Bar and so seven weeks um, and I've been feeling really badly like all day sickness, not just morning sickness. Um, until like yesterday was a good day and today has been good so far. Um, we actually are at the beach uh, on a family trip. And getting down here was difficult with how I was feeling. Like, I, when I'm used to, like, working in the car, yeah, I couldn't do any of that. Um, but, okay. I can tell you I've been, like, emotional. Very, like, hormonally. I don't remember that I did this too much with my son. But, and plus now there's a kid too. There's not just being pregnant. And I've just been emotional about stuff. I like sat down and was crying to my husband uh, earlier today. And on top of that, there's all this BS with um, my son's treatments for his IBD. And we're, we have an appointment on Monday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so four days from now, and I got a call saying that insurance, all of a sudden, after eight months of treating it, and, you know, covering his best groundbreaking care, all of a sudden denied it, so I want to, like, scream, and I was okay, and then my husband and I started talking about it, and I was just, like, done. And now I just keep getting upset anytime I think about it. So thanks, insurance, for giving him the eight months of this wonderful treatment. And then all of a sudden saying, mm, screw you, you can't have it anymore. Appreciate it. But we are so fortunate. And our doctor at CHOP is incredible. And I have heard from lots of other parents with VEO IBD kids that they have had similar experiences and the doctors there are incredible. I mean our doctor already fought initially to get it approved um, so we didn't think there would be an issue but there is of course um, eight months later. So yeah these doctors at CHOP that like they are incredible and I feel so badly that this is most of what they have to do instead of actually caring for patients and it's it's incredible the care that they actually give to the patients is incredible and like just screw you insurance for doing this and causing these blockages and having doctors paperwork and writing letters to you rather than treating the kids, honestly. Well, that's what I have for today, so. All right, I'm off to make a boat birthday cake um, for our early birthday celebration for our son. Um, he wanted a boat birthday party with family um, that's here at um, his great-grandparents at the beach so we are having a little boat birthday party tonight and he wanted a boat birthday cake so I will uh, get a little picture and add this to the end so all right um, keep hydrated keep happy keep expressing yourself um, don't bottle things up inside and do some good plies and core contractions. Um, that's what really helped me on the drive down here. And I have some new stuff coming. I've been doing little two minute exercises in the bathroom while I brush my teeth. So I'm gonna start uh, recording those. All right, bye mamas. So we were already in Philly for a wedding and we're planning to stay over for his infusion Monday. Um, so we switched things up and we got to have a day at Sesame Place, which was great to have that family time. Unfortunately, we wish it had been after an infusion, but we did here and we actually got the approval 
for his continuing on, which was wonderful. Um, uh, kind of sucked we had to do two trips down to Philly, but what's important is that he is now back on schedule. His doctor is being able to make the decisions, not the insurance company. And, um, things are how they are. So thanks. We'll see you next time.